communism is a socio-political movement that aims for a stateless and classless society structured upon common ownership of the means of production and free access to articles of consumption. The government of the world state in Brave New World is a mixture of capitalism and communism. The capitalistic side, seen by Huxley's criticism of excessive consumerism, is harmonized by communist attributes like dictatorship and control of the state. Although there are classes in society in Brave New World, it shares similar ideologies with communism and socialism. In the world state, there is almost perfect equality among the class levels through genetically created identical batches of humans. The controllers, who are the dictators of the world state, own everything and impose any regulations they feel will yield happiness. Much of the happiness of the citizens is reached through ignorance that is enforced by the society since birth. Communism, in theory, seems like a possibly beneficial way of governing and a positive lifestyle. However, when put into practice, it has never succeeded in fulfilling a common happiness or common equality among the people. Currently, there are four countries self-described as communist nations. China, as the People's Republic of China. China has remained consistently communist since 1949, although economic reforms have been in place for several years. Cuba, by 1961, under Fidel Castro, Cuba became fully communist. Laos, officially the Lao People's Democratic Republic, became a communist country in 1975. Vietnam, as a unified country, became a communist country in 1976. Korea is the only non-proclaimed communist country that is regarded as a communist state by others. In theory, communism requires no government control. However, in a communist nation, a dictatorship is almost always inevitable. The ultimate ideal held by Karl Marx was a classless society in which the lower, working class ruled, making everyone equal. Communism sets forth many drawbacks when applied in the real world. It makes the citizen subservient to the government rather than the government subservient to the citizen. Communist countries lack efficiency. People and businesses don't have the incentive to perform efficiently and effectively, which causes the economy as a whole to suffer. In a communist country, the consumer's needs are not taken into consideration, whereas in a market economy, consumer's needs drives production. Although communism seeks to serve the whole, it fails to provide specific protections for the individual. And finally, since state controls resources, business, and income distribution, innovation disappears. As the human spirit is depraved of the will for personal success, the political party becomes the means for recognition as personal and business-related endeavors are regarded as servitude to keep the state functioning. Communism does, however, present some advantages. Communist nations have internally stable economy. Theoretically, there is no unemployment in a communist country and the absence of classes and class structure theoretically makes everyone equal. Many of these benefits are only seen theoretically because in order to establish a communist regime, there must be some totalitarian control to enforce it. Throughout history, the countries with enforced communism have suffered corrupt rulers, which distorted the true values of communism. The truth is, human nature is selfish, and as a result, a communist society will fail. Despite many attempts, there has never been a true communist society, which is a testament to the impracticality of communism. Communists have used dictatorship and totalitarian ruling to attain just a resemblance of communism, which as a consequence, deprives citizens of their rights, of their property, and of their lives.